Hey guys, Andy here, and today we have my Pan Those Eyeshadows project intro for January. It's the intro. So if you want to hear all about this project, see what I'm rolling in and everything of the like, then stay tuned. Everything that's on my face will be listed in the description box. And if you like makeup, unboxings, project painting content with a little bit of horror sprinkled in, please consider subscribing as I would love to have you here. And let's go ahead and get on into the intro. <laughs> All right, so this is a project pan that was created by Makeup with Lainey. I will have her tagged in the description box. And this is a set of 86 prompts because I'm using the list without repeats. There is another list of, I think, 110 where some of the prompts repeat. And it's just a bunch of different eyeshadow prompts. And I specifically, if I can, am going to be pulling from my single magnetic eyeshadows or my single potted creams, liquids, eyeshadow sticks, eyeliners, and all of that. If I have to pull a shadow from a palette to fill the prompt, then I will, but that's going to be like a last resort for me personally. This is going to go from January 1st to December 31st of this year. And I'm going to do this. This is rolling style. You pick your own starting number, but I'm going to start off with rolling in five. And I'm just going to see, I'm going to feel this out because I'm starting, it's January. We're starting a lot of projects, so we're going to feel it out. But I'm going to start with five. So I am going to go ahead and pull up Tiny Decisions on my tablet. And we're going to roll in five things. So... Pan those eyeshadows. So I have all 86 prompts in this guy, so we're gonna go ahead and roll in five of them. So where we get to start. A yellow shadow shimmer is the first one. So let me give me my red pen. So let me see, where is that on here on the list? A yellow shadow shimmer. That was number 85. So there's number one. Let me just have this guy open. So let's go ahead. What are we getting for number two? A pop culture reference. I, I don't know what to do for that. Like, what even is... Like, I'm going to have to Google what a pop culture reference even would be. Number three. A shadow that starts with the letter P. That was prompt number 69. <laughs> nice. I'm a child. It's New Year's Eve. <laughs> number four. A red shadow shimmer. Ooh, I just got some of those. So that's exciting. Where is that? <sighs> da, 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 da. Blue, brown, green, gray orange red shadow shimmer i'm so happy we're rolling in shimmers that's fun and for the last and final have the letter a so i went ahead already off camera because my phone cut me off so rudely and picked out everything that we needed and decided that I was also going to do this as like a project five uses. Also, before we get into what I picked out, it is New Year's Eve when I'm filming this. It is 9 p.m. and there are currently fireworks going off. So if you hear that, I apologize. But so I'm going to use this basically as a project five uses because I want to actually be able to get through all of these prompts this year. And sometimes five uses is a lot for these products. So 
we're just going to go ahead and go in the order that I rolled these in and show you what I picked out. First, we have Yellow Shimmer, and for that I picked my SMB Beauty. This is one of their pressed shadows. This is in the shade 24K Gold. And I know it's, oh, it's gold, that's not yellow, but this actually pulls so yellow. Like, because I swatched it and I was like, yep, that's yellow. It's yellow enough for me. Like, it's my project. Fight me in the comments <laughs> if you're that pressed about it. But like I said, all of these will have a five use on them. And the two singles are going to go in my little palette here that I'm using for my projects. Now, for a pop culture reference, I did Google that, and I feel really stupid. It's basically anything from, like, an entity. So, like, the first thing that popped up was, like, do you have something from Disney? That's a pop culture reference. And I immediately was like, I do. I have Disney things. So this is the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow from the Disney's Hocus Pocus, the first collection. And this is in the shade Dost Thou Comprehend. And it's a beautiful orange. So this is what I'm using for pop culture reference. And I'm sorry that I'm dumb and didn't know what a pop culture reference was. But that's the shade there. This is one of my favorite Super Shock Shadows. I love this shade of orange. So I'm sure it will be... I say that it'll be easy to get my five uses on this, but then when I say that, then it's hard. I give myself unrealistic expectations on things. I'm running out of room where to put things in my project pan bin, and I feel like that's a problem. I feel like that means I have too many things in at one time. Because now I'm knocking things over. It's a full mess. So next for the letter P shadow, I went with something new to me. And this is the Mana Kadar Diamond Dust in the shade Pixie. I got this in my December Ipsy bag, I believe. November? It was December. December's Ipsy bag. So this is a roll-on dust eyeshadow. And it's just... It's so pretty, and it's basically just a loose shimmer in a roll-on. So I'm really excited. I don't have anything else from Mana Kadar, but I'm just mostly excited to see how this kind of formula works on the eyes and if I like it. So that's the shade Pixie, which is just beautiful. Almost done with the Halloween wipes. And then I can move on to Christmas wipes. Since we'll be out of Christmas time. But it's fine. For the red shimmer I picked from Pretties for Your Face. This is the shade Trinbago. This is gorgeous. Like. Look at how foiled that is. If you've never tried SMB Beauty or Pretties for Your Face, I do have discount codes with both of them, but everything I have I've bought with my own money, and I absolutely love both of them. I will leave them in the description box, and they are just stunning. And look at my little, little palette. It's cute. And I got this guy on Amazon, and I really like it because the glitter doesn't come off. Like, it's sealed but it's cute. And for the last one, for the letter A, Shimmer. Oh, Shimmer. Shoot, I picked out a matte shade. I picked out the Too Faced Matte Eyeshadow in the shade Amaretto because I picked... Well... Hang on, we're gonna... We're gonna cross that guy out. I literally wrote down a shimmer because that's what I got, wasn't it? Let me go back and look. A 
A shadow that starts with A. No, it's just a shadow that starts with A. I am literally an idiot. So I can use this. It's any shadow that starts with the letter A. So this is the Too Faced Chocolate Matte Eyeshadow. Melted Chocolate Matte Eyeshadow in the shade Amaretto. And this has a doe foot. I was hoping it would smell like chocolate, but it doesn't smell like anything. Which, I mean, nothing is better than smelling bad. And it's just a nice warm, that would make a beautiful lipstick. And with the doe foot that it has. No, you have enough brown lipsticks, Andy. You don't need it as that, but like. But I want to try this because like I have a couple liquid matte eyeshadows and I just, I don't use them enough because I just feel like if I'm going to use a matte, I'm going to use a powder. Like I'm all for using liquid shimmers to give dimension, but I want to try it. Give it some... See, and now my paper looks ugly, and I feel like I need to just get another paper out. A shadow. Too faced. In amaretto. Five uses. I should have looked before I crossed it out. That's my bad. But that's my color story. One matte and four shimmers. To be fair though, I think this matte could pair with literally any of them. So that's nice. I do like that. I wish I had white out so that I could have whited that out. Whited? I don't like that. Mm. But yeah, that bothers me. That bothers me a lot. Mm, I might have to move this project now to like a different part. That's a little for me later issue. But those are the five products that I'm going to start with. Let me know your thoughts, comments, everything down below. I love chatting with you guys there. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.